Hello everyone, I'm Andrew Reed, Juris Doctor, Small Business Development, IT and Marketing Guru from sunny Victoria, BC. Follow me for new podcasts on beginner investing in business as I survive, grow and prosper in a post-COVID Canada. Disclaimer, my podcast and YouTube content offer very generalized information that has been beneficial to me. Always do your homework and due diligence and make sure that any moves you make are in your own best interest. Nothing in my content is any kind of advice and continuing to listen constitutes acceptance of this disclaimer in its entirety. Today's podcast, Fighting Debt by Lowering Interest Rates and Other Anti-Debt Tips and Strategies. Not all of us are debt-free and ready to enjoy a life of positive net worth. A sword called debt hangs over our head, and the stress of having this debt can be crushing. It's easy for many mentors to say, pay off your debt first, but can they truly understand and empathize with a cycle of poverty, which involves throwing countless dollars toward high interest debt. I'm sharing the strategy that I would use based on insights from both mentors and personal victories in the great war against debt. Having spent most of my life in a poverty mindset, I am all too familiar. Here are some tips for you to consider as you build your anti-debt war chest. Number one, refinance at lower interest rates. How hard is this? Not that hard. Using what's called a debt consolidation loan. Here's the theory. Credit cards charge up to 29% interest. The more interest you pay, the longer it will take to pay off the debt with the same amount of payment. Therefore, the debt consolidation loan comes in and pays off your high interest debt and it lets you pay it back at a more reasonable interest rate. For example, Coast Capital Savings will offer you this debt consolidation loan at the market rate, which at this time is around 6.4%. Now, this isn't as great as, say, paying less than 6.4%, but you can really feel the difference compared to even 14.99% and above. And if you have other loans, like a car loan, that are at a high interest rate, you can pay these off with your credit cards, then get the debt consolidation loan to pay off your credit cards, leaving you with a hefty debt consolidation loan at a relatively reasonable interest rate, lower than your car loan, lower than your credit cards. Then, any extra funds that you uh, come up with, call your bank, have them pay it towards the principal of this debt consolidation loan. This will further reduce the amount of interest you will be paying in total. Number two, balance transfer offers. These offers typically will let you use one credit card to pay off another for a 1% fee, giving you 0% interest for X amount of time. You can shuffle a lot of credit card debt into 0% interest using these balance transfers. But of course, curb your spending, whatever it takes. Don't continue adding to your debt and do everything you can to pay off as much as possible of that debt before that interest kicks in again, often at a slightly higher rate than before. Number three, pay off your debts in order of the highest interest rate. Seems obvious, but this is often overlooked in favor of the pay the smallest balance down first so that one card is paid off at a time strategy. Keep an eye on the big picture. Number four, once your debt is completely covered at a rate that is less than 7%, you can then consider starting to invest a percentage of your income above expenses into long-term safe investments with yields of 7% or higher. These would typically be ETFs, which is a bundle of stocks that spans the entire stock market or a big chunk of it. 
This will reduce your risk overall and historically will provide 7% or more in returns. Number five, be frugal. Use coupons, negotiate utility bills, beg, plea, threaten within the boundaries of the law. Do what it takes to reduce each and every one of your expenses. Get the smaller size drink, even if it is a worse deal per liter. Buy the generic brand. Get the slower internet. Go without cable TV. Get the crappier phone. Skip Starbucks days. You're getting the point, I'm sure. Some say, well, life isn't worth living without the little things. Fair enough. But you know what? Take a few years to live in a frugal way. And when your debt is under control, you can go back to the steady stream of little things that you love so much. You may find you are no longer as interested, as by then you will learn that coffee will buy you another share of a Canadian Riot, which will pay you seven cents per month just to own it. So enough coffee is, well, enough shares of that Riot, and working becomes optional. You become free. And seriously, that's what life is all about. I promise it is worth a few years of living frugally. So concludes my podcast, Fighting Debt by Lowering Interest Rates and Other Useful Anti-Debt Tips and Strategies. Uh, Follow me for real-time information on uh, crypto and the stock market at Canada Stock Market at Canada Stock Market. Hi there. If you are interested in making a podcast of your own, let me tell you how I did it. I used a program called Anchor. It's the easiest way to make a podcast. It's free. There are creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you, so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. For low-cost cutting-edge home health and fitness supplies, please visit Baby Dragon Fitness at babydragonfitness.com. Babydragonfitness.com. Always free shipping to the U.S. and Canada.